D&D takes every step and precaution to produce a perfect chrome finish. All their exhaust systems are hand polished, double nickel and chrome plated. All of their systems are also inspected to meet their criteria with a visual inspection, um, lighting, fluorescent lighting uh, inspection, specs and scratches on the bottom side, peeling chrome is rejected, discoloration visible is rejected, and it has gone through this complete uh, inspection every time before they are packed and wrapped and shipped to you. The O2 sensors are installed on the new pipes and Dave is now removing the old exhaust gaskets from the exhaust ports. Again, no matter how good these exhaust gaskets look, it's a good idea to replace them as they may have been hardened or crushed from the previous installation. When installing the new gaskets, make sure all the old material is removed and the new gaskets sit flush and deep inside the ports. Exhaust leaks can hinder performance and damage your engine, so this is a very critical step. He's now getting ready to position the new D&D 2-into-1 head pipes. Again, you notice he's being very careful to massage these into place as to not damage any of the surrounding parts or scratch the finish on the new heat shield. At this point, a helping hand to hold them in place while installing the studs and nuts is very helpful. David has reused the stock flange nuts and he is tightening to the head. At this point, you want to um, tighten smoothly and properly the front to the back, the back to the front, both sides, so you get them nice and snug before attaching any other clamps or brackets. Again, we're trying to, at all costs, avoid any exhaust leaks. New gaskets and evening, even tightening process makes this happen. Dave is now checking alignment and positioning for the clamps that will held the stock system in place. Dave is now um, checking the position of the phantom pipe which is secured at the rear and in the front where the crossover clamp was in, on the original exhaust system. By attaching the muffler, phantom muffler first to the back, that'll help hold it in place while he lines up the front mounts. Dave is now attaching the front part of the phantom pipe into the position where the old crossover exhaust clamp was. All in all, this is a pretty straightforward installation. As long as you lay everything out, take your time, and have the proper tools. Remember, as in any accessory installation, do not force or over tighten as that is not necessary and is usually indicative of something not lined up or fitting correctly. God damn, that makes for a good looking system. D&D does a nice job of welding the uh, stud nuts in place and providing spacers for a perfect fit. Dave will now go through and methodically tighten everything and check along the whole length of the system. If you remember, everything was assembled, uh, not fully tightened as it can draw itself as it's tightened properly into the right alignment. Dave is now doing the final tightening. As suggested by the manufacturer, he will tighten the silencer mount first, then work his way towards the front of the system by first checking for clearance between the pipe and motor and body panels. As he tightens the clamps or bolts, all clamps must be tightened at the 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock position, and this will prevent leaks at the joints. 
with the tightening sequence completed, um, David will now install the floorboards and the saddle guard and then we'll fire it up. D&D exhaust systems are designed to maximize your motorcycle's torque and horsepower using the stock airbox, carburation, or EFI setup. However, some models will benefit from a change in the EFI settings or jetting modifications. This particular bike has already had some stage one work and a less restrictive aftermarket intake applied. Um, it is always a good idea in the case of new installation of exhaust systems to do a plug reading upon completion, whether or not it is designed or whether or not you have already had the stage one. If you get a nice, rich, light brown coffee color, you're on your way. If you get a light white, bright white type of color on your plugs, you need more fuel and it will need to be adjusted accordingly. When reattaching accessories, uh, medium Loctite is always recommended as to prevent any accessories from loosening as you travel down the road. David will now fire the bike up and check for any exhaust leaks and then get ready to take it for a test ride before reinstalling the saddlebags. Upon completion of the test ride, he will do a plug check and then Mr. and Mrs. Beasley will be ready to cruise on down the road. Equip wipe down while the pipes are still nice and cool. We'll remove any fingerprints. That rich, mellow sound of the D&D is hard to beat. Pure power, ready to go. It idles nicely. The bike is now ready for its initial test ride. Dave is checking for exhaust leaks. He will also check for any um, sputtering or backfiring that may occur, which really shouldn't be any with the design of the D&D system. Any kind of backfiring is usually related to required jetting changes, which will also show up in the um, when he does the plug check. Um, what you see is a beautiful two-in-one exhaust system that closely wraps around the cam cover and hugs the cylinders, bends in nice and tight, does not stick out or does not too low, actually sits well above the frame. As you move around to the back, you'll notice the um, solid rear mounting into the saddlebag sub-assembly for a nice, strong, well-mounted system. And again, from the back, you'll view that it has the two pipes of the traditional Harley bagger. And remembering that this pipe on the left side is a phantom pipe, you will never know that unless you were told as you walk around and see the similar design to your left side pipe in the way the head pipe phantom tucks underneath. We have now completed the installation of the D&D 2-into-1 power pipe along with the phantom pipe for the 2009 Harley-Davidson FLHTC. Well Mr. Beasley, I know you've been patient and waiting a long time for this installation so what do you think of this project and this new D&D exhaust system on your bike? I've, I've waited for a while to get it put on, but uh, boy, the smoothness that it went on and the uh, uh, quality of sound, and uh, I'm sure the performance will match it equally. So are you happy? Oh, over ecstatic. Another satisfied D&D customer. <laughs>